First alert weather days bringing heat to Metro Atlanta. First alert meteorologist Patrick Pete joins me right now with our forecast. Sun's out, guns out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Heading into the weekend, if the sun's gonna be out, I'm gonna be in because I'm not <laughs> trying to deal with the heat. It is gonna get real hot, and I'm not ready for it. And I'm from Louisiana, so that says a lot. That is saying Somewhere a like whole heat. lot on the way and something that we see when we typically get into the warming season our code oranges hadn't seen one yet this season our first one comes down the pipeline tomorrow the air is going to be a little bit thicker there's a little bit more atmospheric ozone that means uh, folks with COPD asthma people with heart conditions children and the elderly could have a difficult time breathing especially later in the day that late afternoon early evening is whenever those numbers are the highest so you're just going to want to avoid outdoor activity First alert weather day, Friday, Saturday, temperatures flirting with record highs both afternoons. It's going to be warming till then, and we're also keeping an eye on the tropics. Nothing that's looking overwhelming, but something to talk about. We'll get you there over the course of the next couple of minutes. Right now, warm outside, 78 degrees, lower humidity, mostly clear skies, and we're expecting temperatures to fall into the mid-60s tonight. So not as comfortable as last night, but still not bad. We call it seasonable for this time of year. You will notice there's a slight uptick in the dew points tomorrow, so it will be a little bit more humid for your Wednesday versus where we were today. And you're also going to notice there's a few more clouds clouds out there. These clouds are going to be high level clouds that so are going to be thinner. So I still expect there to be a good amount of warming through the afternoon in most locations or at least going to get into the upper 80s. We'll be closer to 90 here in Atlanta. So a comfortable start to the day. Upper 60s for the morning drive uh, clouds building through the afternoon. I still think this is a good day to sit indoors just because it's going to be a little bit muggy out there in the afternoon. Mid 80s around the two o'clock hour getting into the upper 80s. Topping out near 90 around 5 o'clock, and then those numbers turn a little bit cooler as we head into the evening. If you're going to check out the Dave Matthews Band, they're hitting the stage at 7.30. Going to be a little warm out, short sleeves, guns out, sun's out. Uh, it is going to be a warm evening tomorrow. Heading into Thursday, warmer numbers for the start of the day. More sunshine, though, and that's going to allow for temperatures to warm up. Some of the models are trying to bring some spotty showers in. I'm really not buying it. We're going to have high pressure nearby. I think that's all going to be suppressed, so we're keeping that rain chance near zero into to Thursday afternoon where temperatures are going to nudge into the lower 90s for a couple of hours and we continue to warm as we head towards the end of the week. First alert weather day for your Friday. We're forecasting a high of 96. Coincidentally, that is also the record high. So if we get to 96, that's going to be a tie. And then on Saturday, forecasting 98. If we get there, uh, we'll be a degree shy of that record high of 99. So it's just going to be unseasonably warm as we stretch into the weekend, keeping things nice and dry uh, really through the beginning of next week and even Monday into Tuesday. We're talking about low in rain chances. Check it out. We're talking about multiple days in a row, at least seven hitting 90 degrees. That's going to make a seven day heat wave. And that's what we were forecasting over the course of the next few days. Keeping an eye on the tropics, uh, not really seeing anything overwhelming, but there's this elongated area of low pressure that's moving across Florida. Once it gets out here just to the south and east of South Carolina, we'll be watching. Could see some slow development, about a 20% chance over the course of the next five days. All righty, Patrick, thank you.